Hello, my friends, with Caden McFarlane and Al Jerkins from Oklahoma City, and the Thunder in round two just didn't look sharp. Meanwhile, Memphis coming off their really tough battle with San Antonio in six games looked to be the more energized team tonight. Yeah, it's pretty obvious this team is for real. You know, we may not have seen a whole lot of Memphis on national television this year, but this team, especially after the trade for Shane Battier, has really solidified things. Zach Randolph is a fabulous player. This team is the real deal. The Thunder not only have their hands full, they have their hands full and then some. This is going to be a tough series for the Thunder to win. I would almost make the Grizz the favorites after what I saw here in game one. You know, we got a lot of confidence and we got, you know, players that can play in each position. When you get to the, uh, to the playoffs, it's about now. It's not about what you did during the regular season, and uh, you just have to keep performing and playing well. Great ball movement. Well, let's face it, Memphis has beaten the Thunder four of the, the last five games. And for those who thought that, hey, maybe we'd rather play Memphis because they're the number eight seed instead of San Antonio, the number one seed. Uh uh. I was wrong. I, 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 no, I, I, will, I, will, uh, I will hold my hand up and say I was wrong. Now, obviously, there are some things that the Thunder can correct. Yeah. They came out without enough energy. Uh, Kevin Durant said that in the post game. We didn't, we didn't come out with any sense of urgency. We didn't uh, have any energy. I, I thought we were a step slow on a, in a lot of areas defensively tonight. We reacted instead of um, being more aggressive and. That's, that's definitely disappointing. Zach Randolph said he thought that not having a lot of time off in between kept them in a rhythm. Maybe the opposite was true for the Thunder, a little too much time off for the young legs. The Thunder have to find some inside presence. They absolutely do, and it, not just on the offensive end, but find a way to slow down the bigs inside. You know Zach Randolph and Marcus Gasol are going to have a big series. They're great players. They're going to get their numbers, but you can't let them have 54 points and 23 rebounds. You know, they, I think they score just too many points in the paint. Uh, to start the game, I think they're 14 out of their first 28 points were in the paint, and that's not the way we wanted to go into this game. Zach's a good player, and we have to throw other things at him, and we will. I tell you, this crowd here was fantastic, but they're not going to be too pleased if the Thunder don't play well on Tuesday because going to Memphis down 0-2. That's, that's really going to be a struggle. For all intents and purposes, this really is a must win. As close to a must win without actually being a must win, without actually being an elimination game as exists in the NBA playoffs. All right, that wraps it up from Oklahoma City. Again, the Thunder go down by 13, 114-101, the final score. They go at it again on Tuesday in this building at 830. For Caden McFarland, this is Al Jerkins, 2 News, works for you sports.